I've made some decisions. <sighs> you can do this. You can do this. Just use your word balls out of your mouth. Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sarah Taylor and I'm making videos about intentional living and sustainable craft. I like to start each video by acknowledging the Cabi Cabi people as the traditional custodians of the land on which I live and work. And I'd like to pay my respect to their elders past, present and emerging. So like many people at this time of year, I've been reflecting on 2022 and starting to set some intentions and think about goals that I would like to achieve in the new year. Um, 2022 was an incredibly intense year for me and uh, it was the first time that I had experienced um, grief from losing loved ones. So uh, that's had a massive impact on the direction that I want to take my life and this year and, you know, the decisions that I've made. So we had um, some very severe flooding here in January and February, which was then followed by the loss of my father-in-law. And a few months later, my dog. And then in November, I lost my one of my best friends uh, very tragically and very suddenly. So um, that kind of knocked the wind right out of me, which is why I haven't recorded in a few months. And um, it has given me some time to reflect on what's important to me and how I want to show up in the world and, and really um, has given me a new perspective of just how important and precious life is. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to sit down and have a chat with you. This won't be a very long video, uh, but I wanted to document my thought processes as I go through this experiment of just seeing, you know, what I can create on this channel um, and the kind of content that I'm interested in. So um, I'll start with, I guess, the theme for my year is less but better. And that really caused me to reflect on where I want to spend my time. And so less platforms, but better content and better connection meant I'm going to be coming off of social media. So I'm already not using Facebook and I will be um, massively changing how I interact with Instagram. It will be very intentional and not very regularly. I really want to focus on talking about the things that I'm passionate about and um, really looking at how I can, you know, contribute my highest um, in this space here. So um, I'm also experimenting or exploring the idea of our creativity being a powerful form of activism. And uh, really that creativity helping us thrive outside of the attention economy and outside of consumer culture and um, for me, the two ways that that's really calling me at the moment is by making my own wardrobe, my own clothes, and growing my own food. So that's going to be the start or the, yeah, that's going to be the starting point, I guess, of the content that I'm going to make here. There'll be lots of DIY, DIYs. <laughs> There'll be lots of DIYs. There'll be lots of documenting, um, you know, the process of making garments and, um, and not so highly edited that it looks like I've done it all in one day, like really properly documenting, you know, what it takes to make a garment. Um, and through the lens of uh, dismantling those sort of patriarchal ideals about what our bodies should look like or uh, what kinds of clothes we should be wearing. Um, I want to talk about the fabrics that I'm using and why. Uh, and the yarn that I'm using and why. I want to talk to other makers and also other business owners who are perhaps doing things from the perspective of taking care of the planet um, or of social justice. So yeah, I'm not 100% uh, set on um, the specific videos yet, but I know the overarching theme is, you know, intentional living, sustainable craft, um, social justice, um, and just, yeah, playing with this idea that our creativity can be a really powerful form of activism. So I hope that sounds good to you. <laughs> um, yeah, what else did I want to say? I'm going to be knitting down my yarn stash as well. I'm going to do a separate video on that, but um, I've realized I have a lot of yarn. 
uh, I learned started to knit about a year and a half ago and since then have just accumulated quite a large stash. Uh, I mean, it's not massive, but it's making me a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm going to start uh, doing that. I'm going to do a video on taking you through my sewing journal and my plans for a me made wardrobe. Um, that's probably going to come in the next couple of weeks and uh, I will continue doing my podcast every month, which I just love. My plan is to post every two weeks. So I will do my monthly podcast towards the end of the month where I'll share all the usual stuff that I'm making and thinking about and reading and just chitty chat with you. Uh, and then at the beginning of the month, I'm going to be doing um, other the other videos. So if any or all of this sounds like fun to you, I would really love it if you would give my video a thumbs up. It really helps uh, my channel reach more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to uh, have you join us as well. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. There's a lot of people screaming for your attention online, so I really appreciate your time. And uh, I'm going to leave some links below where you can join my mailing list. And um, please feel free to leave a comment. I absolutely love to read them and I do respond to as many as possible. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.